here for story time? If you're here for story time, clap your hands. If you're here for story time, clap your hands. If you're here for story time, finger plays and games and rhymes. If you're here for story time, clap your hands. Um, I think maybe she should have said pause. Come join us for story time online. Our story today is about Mother's Day, but it's not a traditional story. It's a story about Stella, who has two dads, and how she figures out what she's going to do for the Mother's Day party at school. Hope you like it. Stella Brings the Family by Miriam B. Schiffer, the illustrations by Holly Clifton Brown. Stella Brings the Family. With a hug goodbye, Stella dashed to her cubby and raced to her spot. Mrs. Abbott had a surprise for the class. We're going to have a celebration for Mother's Day, she said, and each of you can invite a special guest. Jonathan and Leon said they'd invite their moms. Carmen was sure her mama would come, but Stella had two dads. Everyone else had a mother. Howie had two. Stella would be the only one without a mother at the Mother's Day party. That afternoon, Stella and her clay stared at each other. The next day, Stella worried about the party when she should have been worrying about other things. All week, Stella's appetite was gone. What's wrong, Stella? Jonathan asked. I have no mother to bring for the Mother's Day celebration. No mother? asked Leon. But who packs your lunch like my mom does for me? Daddy knows just what I like, said Stella. The problem isn't lunch. It's that I have no mother to bring to the Mother's Day party. No mother, asked Howie, but who reads you bedtime stories like my mothers do for me? Daddy and Papa read stories to me, said Stella. But who kisses you when you are hurt? Carmen asked. Well, that's a long answer, said Stella. I get lots of kisses when I'm hurt, either from Papa or Daddy or Nona or Aunt Gloria or Uncle Bruno or Cousin Lucy. But I still have no special guest for Mother's Day. Jonathan asked, why don't you invite them all? Oh, what a wonderful idea, Papa and Daddy said. But Stella wasn't so sure. Soon the children were crafting invitations, decorating, and preparing gifts. Stella worked harder than everyone. The big day arrived. Daddy, Papa, Nona, Uncle Bruno, Aunt Gloria, and Cousin Lucy went with Stella to school. She had so many guests. Stella hoped it would be okay. The party was better than Stella had imagined. Howie came with his two moms, and Jonathan brought his grandmother while his mom was away. Stella had the biggest crowd of all. They squeezed into the story circle and made frames for their art. Stella thought the day was turning out fine. In fact, it was better than fine. Papa was a big hit. Later that day, Mrs. Abbott was worn out. Stella told her not to worry. For Father's Day, she wouldn't bring nearly as many people. Just two. And that's the end. Hi guys, it's me Corny. 
Um, well, I'm excited because Mother's Day is tomorrow. Yeah. Are you making anything special for your mom? Or for a special woman in your life? Or maybe if you have two dads like Stella, maybe you'll just make something for them to celebrate your family. Well, have fun. I'm gonna make Kathleen something special, but it's a surprise, so don't tell her. Do you wanna know what it is? Yep, I'm gonna make her an acorn flower croissant. She loves croissants in France, so I thought that would be good. Maybe I'll even put some chocolate in it to make it a pain au chocolat. Mm -mm. Yum, yum, yum.